Yes, welcome on board with me, Mugalu the Car Guy. I am very glad that you always stay in touch with me uh, for maximum views of the latest car trends and all you need to know about a car. So today, uh, you can follow me on all the social media pl platforms. That's Mugalu the Car Guy. And also, don't forget to subscribe. So today, I have something uh, for you, for all the guys who know and who want to have Mercedes Benz, I have something for you about lighting system. Uh, of course, this is an ML Mercedes Benz formatic. Uh, it's a 164 uh, model, 2006, uh, CDI 320. This car has really given me her time. And it's all about the rear lights. So let's go on this car. I've done the diagnostics for this car and um, I've found that different lights, especially the rear left lights, are defective and when I check them manually, the known, I measure continuity, I measure for voltage, uh, voltage comes in and go, but the lights really are not good and they continue to show on the instrument cluster and they report the problem. So. Let's go for this and we continue. Let's first go for the diagnostic report, then we see. So let's go. Okay. And now, okay, I'm using the Bosch uh, KTS 350 uh, powered by ESI Tronic. I've just done here the test for this car and uh, I want to show you the print preview for what I've just done okay let's continue printing in process so I want to show you the preview of this I've disconnected everything for safety and the dashboard is now black and the key is off right about there so that um, I check very well the rear acquisition sum that's the uh, the light control module so uh, of course you can see here uh, in the actuator reverse light uh, right reverse light uh, short circuit to ground we have a uh, rear lift uh, rear left turn signal actuator open circuit uh, rear right turn signal brake left light uh, right brake light cannibal uh, can signal brake light switch rear, uh, so everything is all about lights 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 and these are the rear lights you see so this is the report for this car uh mercedes-benz m class 164 ml 320 cdi informatic diesel it's a 3.0 uh 2009 so now let me take you through behind of this car uh to access the rear acquisition sensor though I've already checked the computer for the lights and now I guess you, I, I guess you can see all the lights are out I've been on stress this whole evening to sort out these lights so um, I've done everything to check the corrosion to check the wiring power connectivity uh, power flow positive power is there but the voltage is varying but continuity is there so that means the circuit is complete but the power and the uh, the power voltage and the amperage is really disturbing the same applies to this light at uh, the right side all lights are out everything is messed up but in the spirit of getting the job done and uh, now the right the light control module it's located here so this is the fuse box though i've removed it located down there and i've managed to get it out which is here so these are the housings and this is the module the light acquisition rear control sound 
are some of the symptoms for this system uh, to become defective that it gives you wrong reading remember this car does what they call substitution for the light if one bulb is defective and there is other lights let me say the reverse is on and you apply brakes so other road users of course they get a signal but from a different light so now this is what they call electronics for this for these lights i've opened and i've found out that it is corroded i guess you can see right about there let me maintain the focus okay let me maintain the focus you see it's corroded so this is a circuit those small lines you see they transmit power so remember if water gets in there and corrosion happens it means that the circuit won't be complete if i turn it the other way around um on the same same page there i turn the other way around if you are very uh keen you can see that water really played around with this ic circuit the integrated circuit water really played there and it's really uh nasty here so i'm afraid that this is a very very bad and nasty experience that the customer is going to face to buy this unit that's the light control module so that the lights get back on no because this whole light is being affected so that means this oh where 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 so that means this ic circuit uh is for the rear side uh left side so i'm going to put the back then i inform the client and it'll be good to go if we get it to be better so i'm telling you if at all anything happens and you experience this ex uh this scenario you shouldn't waste time to check on the bulbs to replace the bulb it blows you change another one it blows you change the reverse light it lights in the parking light that's all wastage of time and it's crap you need to go straight up to this uh light acquisition module and the symptoms are shown here what else can you inquire from me in case you have a question you can drop it down in the description and uh, the comment section below for to be answered about this lighting system so i guess i'm done and this is the car i've just worked on it's there thank you for being online with me and um signing out thank you follow me don't forget to subscribe on the channel um i'm gonna do the car guy peace out thank you i love you so much follow me hey don't forget facebook twitter instagram you can follow me ask any question about cars mercedes-benz class ml let's go i'm out thank you peace take care